What's good, man? It's Kid K.O., man. Before we get into this, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what to do. Hey, man, today makes six years since Fredo Santana has passed away, man. So I thought I'd share my story time, something that I personally uh, witnessed of Fredo Santana, man. So I thought I'd share with my subscribers, man. So first off, I want to send my condolences to his family, his child. Fredo was a father as well. So I want to send prayers out to his family, man. Rest up to Fredo, man. But look, a lot of y'all don't know, me and Fredo Santana both went to Inglewood High School. He was real close to my brother, though. Like, I mean, not real, real close, but him and my brother, you know, when they synced each other, you know, they, you know, chopped it up and, you know, did whatever they did or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? But I used to always just see Fredo. Fredo, he came to school, bro. He wasn't really, he ain't had too much to say. You know, he stayed, stayed, stayed to himself and rock with who he rock with. You feel me? But, uh... Yeah, so one day, school out, everybody getting out of school, we headed to the bus, you know, typical day. This day, bro, a lot of people came up to the school from Dipset, people came up there from uh, Parkway at the time, and uh, people from the Calumet building, they came, They a lot of people from the Calumet building, they came up to the school. I don't know what was going on at the school this day, but there was a lot of, a lot of the guys came up there, man, so... They all hopped on the bus at the same time. Blackgate, I'm talking about so many BD sets, bro, was all on the bus. So it was some short, I was like in the middle of the bus. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to catch the 63rd bus to 63rd at King Drive because we used to stay on 74th at King Drive. Anybody that know, they know. And the bus used to let me off right in front of the crib or whatever like that. But long story short, though, we catching the bus. We riding up 63rd. So the bus come, we all get on the bus. They on the back of the bus super deep. So they, some some people ain't even pay to get on the bus. That's how deep they was. They just got on the back. You know, people used to sneak on the back of the bus. And the guys let them in and shit. So they get on the bus, bro. It's the shorty back there. He get to talking to the shorty, Fredo. He like, uh, yeah, man, what you is? I guess shorty said he was GD. He was like, yeah, man. He was like, oh, he's like, I don't rock with them BDs, bro. They goofies. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like he just, you know, talk about the BDs. So. When I heard Fredo talk like this, I already knew what was finna happen, bro. Before it even happened, I knew they was finna mess Shorty up. I already knew. They was setting him up. So, Shorty ain't do nothing to him. I just think Fredo was just on, they was on BS that day. They was deep, folk. They, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like he won't do it alone, but they was deep that day. It was a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They, I think they was just on one that day. <laughs> and they was, they was already looking for a victim. You feel me? So Shorty shake up GD with him. So they they get the uh, 63rd and in Indiana stop, I think. Shorty shake. He's like, all right, bro, we gone. He's like, bro, he's sh sh afraid to shake, shake up with him or whatever like that. Shook up GD with him. Man, I turned my head, bro. I heard a loud ass slap. Boy, I'm damn. I already knew what happened. I turned around, man. Shorty laying on the floor, holding his face, man, rolling in circles, bro. Like I'm, I man, I feel, <laughs> I feel sorry for him, bro. But Fredo slapped the dog shit out that boy, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Fredo slapped the dog shit out Shorty, man. And you know what I'm saying, like a lot of shorties, man. You gotta know where you at when you in Chicago, bro. Know where you at. Know who you dealing with, bro. You gotta know. You gotta know something, bro. You gotta be alert, bro. Knowledge is power up here, bro. <laughs> Especially other streets. You gotta know who you dealing with, where you at, what type of people you around, bro. Cause man. It happened like that, but yeah, man, Fredo Santana slapped some shorty on the bus for shaking up GD with him, man. And, you know, Fredo was talking to him like, yeah, man, we don't rock with them BDs, man. They some goofies, they some lames. I already knew the play before it happened, bro. I knew what was finna go down. I'm like, man, Fredo finna hurt shorty. I thought they was finna all jump on him, but Fredo slapped the shit out that boy, man. And that was before Fredo stopped coming to school. You know, like I said, I used to see him sometime. He'd be real quiet to himself. You know what I'm saying? But before that, I mean, yeah, after that, you know, Fredo, he stopped coming to school or whatever like that. He was real close to my homie. And, and I think uh, I did a song with an artist from S.O.D. His name, D. Flores. He locked up right now. He asked Fredo something about me. And you know what I'm saying? That I, and Fredo didn't know who I was at the time. He asked, you know, Fredo said something. It was a little, you know, a little uh, smart or whatever like that. But I was letting him know, like, man, Fredo don't really know me like that. You know what I'm saying? He know my brother, though. 
Like, if you say my brother name, he know him, but he ain't know me like that, you know? But I always thought Fredo was cool as hell, real player, you feel me? And I like how he bossed up and changed his life and made a better living for himself before he uh passed away, man. You know what I'm saying? I really think if Fredo was still here, man, he'd be a real boss. I, I believe he wouldn't even be rapping that much. I believe Fredo would really like be like a CEO of SSR, Super Savage Records. I really believe he'd have a lot of artists up under that label and he would have been like like on his real Yo Gotti type shit, like developing artists and you know what I'm saying? Cause he had the connects, bro, and he knew how to work his hand and a lot of people respected him as far as business wise too. If, if Fredo was a hustler too, you know, Fredo older like my age, so you know, Fredo conduct himself a little bit differently than the other shorties at Glow Gang and GBE and all that, you know what I'm saying? So it's always love and respect for Fredo, man. He uh, beat the eyes and changed this situation, man. And he really come from that. You know what I'm saying? Him and his brothers, they really come from that. They really like that. They really been out here. You know what I'm saying? Capable boy, all of them. They really been out here, bro. So, yeah, man. I just thought I'd share my experience or my story time with y'all about Fredo Santana, man. He got on the bus after school, man, and slapped the shit out some shorty, man, for shaking up GD with him, man. So, a lot of y'all shorties, man, just know where you at, know what you be doing, man, because this, this could happen to any shorty, for real. It happened all the time in the Chicago, especially back in the day, bro, especially back in the day. But, yeah, man, rest up the big boss Fredo Santana, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, leave comments in the comment section, and let me know if y'all want any more of these story times, man. Alfredo Santana, man, and uh, yeah, man, rest up to him, man, my condolences go to his family and his son, man, but yeah, it's the kid, K.O., yeah, yeah.